Okay, everybody, thanks for joining me. Um, I am going to do the tutorial of basic nunchaku kata number one, or nunchaku kata shodan. Now, just to be clear, this is a kata that I created myself, um, just because I just I don't want to tell people that this is a traditional kata when it's not. It, ha it is based on traditional nunchaku kata in some of its movements, but uh, it's definitely a modern creation that I uh, put together for my students so that they can uh, practice the nunchaku, okay? So some of the technique that I'm going to be using is holding it in the middle. Uh, some of it's going to be at the end. Um, I like to hold it in the middle when I do things like figure eights because it just makes things faster. I like to hold things on the end when I'm swinging them because it's a, it's a heavier blow. So I uh, just wanted to let you know. Also, I'm using my Game of Death replica nunchaku that uh, my mom ordered me from Asian World of Martial Arts in Philadelphia when I was about 12 or 13 years old after I had seen the Game of Death and uh, was inspired by the great Bruce Lee. Uh, I was able to order it. This was during a time when um, they actually would ship them out to California. So um, I've had these nunchaku for uh, decades and this is a very special pair dear to my heart. Uh, but I wanted to demonstrate it with this pair because the color is a little bit different and uh, it's easier to follow. Okay, so that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I, we start with my bow. If you look at my feet, I'm in what's called musubidachi, and I, I bow here. And then as my feet come together, come apart, I I do that. I I grab the nunchaku. It's a little bit more dramatic. The first thing I do is I look to my left. I take a little bit of a step forward, and I pivot to my left. And what I'm doing is I'm taking my left hand and bringing it up here. It's almost like I'm doing an uppercut with my left hand. This hand comes down and pulls this stick here kind of under my arm. And then I turn to my left. Okay, so this is what the position looks like. From here, I'm dropping it down, like you're dropping it down on your opponent's head. And the easy way to do this is just to bring it back up. So this is pulling the lever, swinging it back up. Okay, if you wanted to do it a little bit more fancy, I'll show you on the other side. So then from here, we go back to here, and then this one, the right hand starts to come up as if I'm doing an uppercut, and I turn to my right. And I drop it down, and I bring it back. Now if you want to add a little extra flourish to this, by doing an extra spin, uh, extra spins just make it a little bit more fancy. It, catcher on the eye so just by adding an extra spin you can do a little bit fancier okay and people will look at whoa that's really cool the basic way is to drop it down bring it back then the next part here is I actually I'm turning towards you which is right in front of me I'm going to bring it up in this way okay so now my left hand is holding this one up my right hand is holding the one that's pointing down to the ground and then as I take a step and drag forward I drop it down and bring it back up again. Here's the motion. Okay, or, okay, as I step with my right foot, I let go with my left hand, I let it swing down, and I bring it underneath here. Okay, so this is a standard move, and then I'm figurating with my right hand. Okay, so it's this way. And then what I'll do is I will catch it under my arm, in my armpit. And then what I'm doing is I'm flicking it out. Okay, this is what it looks like from the side. Okay, so I'm doing that, right? From there, I swing it over my shoulder. I step, swing it over my shoulder, and my left hand will now figure eight. Okay, and then I trap it in my left underarm. I'm, what I'm doing is I'm flicking it out, so I'm pulling it out here, and then as it starts to go out, I quickly withdraw it, and that gives it that snapping motion, okay? And then I go in for the third and final one, where I'm figure eighting. I catch it, I snap it out. It goes over my shoulder, separate, lift up, and strike. Okay, from here, my left foot goes behind my right foot and I turn. And from this position here, my left foot is in front. This is what I did. My left hand comes up for an uppercut. My right hand is holding the one that's pointing down. I drop it down. I bring it up. 
open, I step with my right foot, right hand comes up like an uppercut, I'm holding it up on the right side, I drop it down, bring it back up. From here, I step back with my right foot, they open up, and they snap here. Still in my right hand up top. I drop it down, I bring it back up, and then the final is I open it up, I'm stepping with my left foot, and I'm in this position here. So we've did, we did four of those, okay? From here, my left foot goes out, and I bring it up behind me, like so, all right? What I'm doing is I'm stepping in with my right foot, and I'm gonna do a cross swing from right to left, cross swing from left to right, it goes from the, uh, bottom to top, and it drops down, and that gives me my first one, okay? I step forward, I switch hands, and I do the same thing with the other side. So it's cross swing left to right, cross swing right to left, bring it from top to, uh, bottom to top, and then down. And then I switch it, and this is the final one, so it's coming across, cross swing, cross swing, Upswing, downswing, catch, open. I put both of the sticks in one hand. I'm kind of measuring with my left hand, and I drop down with both of these in my hand from here. Then I turn around, so I'm palming here, punching here, and then I go back to my original position. Close the nunchaku, and we bow, and that's the basic kata. Now bear in mind that this is a template, and it can be changed. So what I'm trying to provide here is a basic template. So you can do this, where you just do one swing, or you could do this, where you bring it back. Okay, when you switch your uh, nunchaku over the shoulder, the single version of this is where you just bring it over the shoulder, the one here that's grabbing, the one pointing to the ground, this, the top one lets go, and then we just kind of continue with this motion here, okay? If you want to fancy it up a little bit, you just add a spin, and then suddenly, you look like you're doing it a lot faster, okay? So it's a little bit of a trick, okay? Um, with the figure eighting, um, I like to hold it in the middle, and you know, I'm using my wrist also, so I'm not just using the sticks, I'm actually using my wrist a little bit, and then I will bring it up sometimes as a, in a little bit of a fancy flourish, okay? So when you add that little bit of extra spin, it just makes you look like you're moving a lot more dynamically and a lot more fast, okay? And then you'll start to get comfortable, okay? Now, um, it took me, <laughs> look, I hit my head, I hit my elbow, I hit my knees, I hit my, mam my mom's lamps with these things. So <laughs> these things I've seen a lot of action. I do recommend using a lighter wood pair or even a, a foam covered one with the PC, 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 PVC so that um, you minimize injury to yourself and to uh, property, okay? And then once you get fairly good at it, then I would recommend graduating to uh, a wooden set, okay? Um, you know, and again, play with this. This is a basic template. You don't have to hear exactly to the way I did it. Sometimes the performance changes from performance to performance. So I may do it one way, and then you may see me do it a different way because that's the kata that came out. So it's very fluid, very flexible. Uh, hope you have fun with it. Um, play with it and get back to me and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one.